So, so with this going on, now I understand that there has been moves for Eden to go with her father, who has never had a, a day with her before this. Eden is almost 11 years old. She was my princess, okay? I have not been allowed to speak with her, okay? I mean, no one will call me back. Who's saying that you're not allowed to speak with her? Is it the court? Okay. Well, first I was allowed to speak with her, and then Kelly, my sister, who Eden was not allowed to be staying with per court order, okay, put a restraining order on me with false allegations saying that I had shown up and gone Rambo and threatened to kidnap Eden. I was in, I was unaware that Eden, Eden was even at my sister's house because it was against court order at this time for her to be there, okay? Upon realization that she had put a restraining order on me, I fled out of there. I had, I had visitation with Eden. I fled out of there because I knew that Kelly was going to further go forward with false allegations against me to support Franklin County Sheriff's Office in incarcerating me. And my allegation is that Franklin County Sheriff's Office was giving her play-by-play -play on how to have me incarcerated as being a whistleblower and, and, and as a vendetta carried over from the feds in Las Vegas because they were furious too. So anyways, so you're in the middle of this, and, and they all know exactly what's happened, and no one is helping me, and my daughter has been kept from me, and then so a judge said that I wasn't allowed to have contact with Eden, uh, Magistrate Stroud, okay, uh, that was her finding until I had a mental evaluation, so I went ahead and got a mental evaluation, and I showed uh, the shrink everything, and the shrink said I was sane and I was competent and I was not a threat to myself or others and I passed the mental evaluation that was over three weeks ago and still no one is even allowing me to speak to my daughter and what happened to there was going to be reunification of Eden and I okay uh and now and now all of a sudden it's her dad that's unacceptable well, um, I will say this, Ms. Weaver, we always run what we call concurrent planning. Concurrent planning means that we will seek, our, of course, our first goal is reunification with parents. Parents does not mean one parent and or the other. We don't necessarily choose. What we do is we evaluate and assess both parents. Uh, for a, for the a child, and then we just make recommendations. Okay, well, Marcus has never given a dime to his daughter, okay? And he had never even seen her. And I've raised Eden for the past 11 years, and there were no allegations of abuse. The only allegation was that I was making up this whole investigation in my head, okay? And that wasn't true, all right? That was the only thing that you guys had on me. So now that it was... In fact, very much true, okay, and very much covered up, and that this has been and that this has come all to light, okay. How that you guys can go with Marcus when I have a place to live, I have money to take care of her, okay. I've been a wonderful parent to Eden. Eden was a straight A student under me. Eden has no cavities, okay. Eden was taking, I mean, Eden was taken care of wonderfully by me, all right? How you can say that I am the offending parent when Marcus is the one that walked out on us, never gave us a dime, and, and, and seriously, like, disappeared so that I could not find him? Okay? I just, okay. Something needs to change, and you guys need to work with me on getting me reunified with my daughter, okay? And this whole situation of family services coming up from Franklin County um, Sheriff's offices, it needs to be addressed. You really need to look into this situation and get back to me. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to understand is, I mean, what what are you what are you asking from me? What do you? Need? I need you to get Kelly Pruitt back online of doing the ICPC to Florida, as she had stated that was going to happen, and as Amber Stevens said was going to happen. Okay. Well, I mean, we do, like I just told you, we actually do an evaluation and assessment on both parents. We don't do one parent or the other, we do both. So the ICPC process is to help us to evaluate where the... Okay, well, Kelly Pruitt is now saying that she will not move forward with the ICPC process. Before, she was saying that she would. Now, she's saying that she won't. That's unacceptable. I need you to move forward with this as you're moving forward with the father. That's only fair, especially considering that I have been her sole custody for the past 11 years before this and, and for the extenuating circumstances of everyone being so prejudiced against me for having Franklin County, Ohio sheriff's offices saying terrible, untrue things about me. They didn't know me. I was only in town for 16 days and you guys legally abducted my child. You really need to look into this. Many, 
there have been a lot of illegal activities that have been done by your, by, by Franklin County Children's Services. Okay? Yes, absolutely. And, and it's been absolutely, um, and, and it has a vendetta for me getting all those people in trouble in Las Vegas, and now I'm getting everyone in trouble in Ohio as well. So, so please look into this. You have you said you have not gone over this situation. Well, I'll say I do know about your case. I do know about the uh, father being pursued. I am aware of that. But in terms of like going through every piece of your case, I'm not the case manager. I'm the director. Okay, I understand yeah. that you're the director. Okay, and I also want Kelly Pruitt and Michael Schilling taken off of my case because she has lied to me time and time and time again. And I cannot ever get her on the phone. She never returns my phone calls. She laughs in my face. She's nothing but rude, okay? I put in complaints about the lawyers, okay, for going along with this situation when it, listen, I was never a bad mother. Eden should never have been taken away from me, okay? Family services made up lies, and they also defied a judge's court order, okay, a couple of them, to further make the situation a living nightmare for me, okay, and for my daughter, okay? My daughter has been so upset about this that she had a suicidal ideation, and she's now been diagnosed with a mental disorder. My daughter is 11 years old. Before this happened, okay, my daughter was... Straight A cheerleader, very, very, very popular. Like, uh, you're describing a little girl that I don't even know. And this has happened in six months. Okay. So you're asking that, uh, you're asking that the service team be removed from your case? Yes. I'm asking for a new service team and new lawyers. You said and new lawyers? Yeah. Your, your lawyers on your end and I'm getting, and I'm doing my lawyers on mine. Okay, well, we already have a legal department here that works alongside with our staff. I know. Uh, I'm asking that that woman be removed. Oh, okay. Well, most likely that's not going to happen unless there was something that really stood out. Okay, well, what really stands out is that she was the assistant for the Attorney General's office, okay? And the oh, Attorney oh, General, okay. Mike DeWine, it's, um, what's her name? Hold on one second. Okay, take your time. Um... Her name is, hold on, I just filled out a form on her today. Oh, you're fine. Take your time, please. And Amber said that any further complaints that I had would have to go to you as she did not have any more authority with me. So now she said that I need to go to you with my complaints. Her name is Sharon Carney and she was the... Oh, that's our, that's our, yeah, that's our staff attorney. Okay, your staff attorney worked with the Attorney General's office. She was an assistant to them. And Mike DeWine and I got into it with regarding this whistleblower thing six months ago. So that's showing bias and prejudice. prejudice. And I believe that it's her that told Kelly Pruitt that she was not going to move forward with the ICPC. And I believe it's targeted from her because of her relationship with the Attorney General's office. And that's why I want her removed from the case. Because of her relationship with Mike DeWine. And I bet Ron O'Brien. And he and I got into it too. So who does? Department. What I would suggest in terms of something to that level, I would suggest maybe having the um, uh, reaching out to our uh, ombudsman. To who, Leisha? Our ombudsman, which is our client's rights division. Yeah, department. I have. Her name is Leisha. I filed a grievance. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I would do in regards to the, uh, the legal aspect. I don't, I don't have any authority and or do I um, uh, have the ability to do anything. So the ombudsman is the person that has the authority to do something about the lawyer? Uh, actually, no, ma'am. There's a, there's a person that's over the attorney. Who is it? That the ombudsman will reach out 
not to. Who is it? Who is there? Our chief legal counsel is over our attorney. Security. And who is that? I'm sorry. And who is the chief legal counsel? Uh, the chief legal counsel here is Anna Leary. Anna Leary. Uh huh. Hold on one second. Uh, freak out to Alicia. She will have that information given to the uh, chief legal counsel here so that she can address that. That's okay, now what am I supposed to do when no one's calling me back? I'm sorry? I said, what am I supposed to do when no one's calling me back? So, did you not hear back from the, the you're talking about from the client's rights or from the worker itself? Okay, so today I heard back from the worker, but I'm going to tell you something. It's been the second time that she's called me in three weeks, and that was only because I've been I've been absolutely, I mean, just doing backflips and filing so many complaints, I can't even tell you. Okay, and I finally got invited to um, one of the meetings, okay? And apparently there's been other meetings in the past that they haven't invited me to, okay? So there's been, there's been meetings and everything else that no one's even told me about. That's another reason that I want her removed. And you know, Michael Schilling wouldn't even bother to show up today because he's so guilty, okay? He refused to be in the room with me because he knew. Really? Okay, well, he needs to call me because he has called me one time in six months, okay? And that was to lie about why Family Services was covering up defying a judge's court order. I want them removed from the case. They have lied to me repeatedly regarding judge's court orders. Okay. So you're asking me, it sounds like you're asking me to change the service team. Yes. Now, changing the service team is really not that easy because especially when a, a service team has been working with a family for some time. You know um, what? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. The, the hostility between us and the lies and the contempt of, for me, okay, and the prejudice and the bias, it is just totally inappropriate. And it is due to these types of horrible management skills, okay, and decisions that Eden has gotten into this type of depression, okay, and mental disorder and all this stuff, all right? And I have to, I mean... You have to understand that because of what's happened and this being a, a case of whistleblowing and vendetta paying and nasty government and all of this stuff, that I am not going to stop until this is rectified because why you took Eden was wrong, okay? It was based on a revenge motivation, okay? And... You know, it was illegal, okay, and it was an abduction, okay, and the sheriffs got put you up to it. And I'm sorry that you guys got dragged into this and that 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 Eden was considered a um, a hostage, okay, in this situation, and that she was lied to and manipulated by Family Services and the Ohio County Sheriff's Department and my sister, okay. But it was all on. Um, it was, this was all directed, okay? My sister was directed to do these things by the sheriff's office. And family services was directed to do these things by the sheriff's office. And by the feds that, that were instructing them. I mean, it was just a really, 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 really nasty, nasty, nasty situation. And um, so, you know, it, everything's going to come out in the wash, you know, because it already is. So anything that you could do to make this situation a little bit easier on me and Eden and everyone else will be greatly appreciated. And if you could find out exactly what happened from having Kelly say to me, oh, you're going to get custody again and we want to reunify you to, oh no, we're not working on that with you when we're working with Eden's father, okay, on the same thing that we need to do with me, I need to know that. I need to know why. I need to know what the change of story was. So, uh, I apologize, I can't speak to anything that happened where I was not present. I'd have to check in and find out. Right. Or specifically what, you, you know, what you're speaking to. Yes, please. So, okay, so at this point, what I'm going to be able to do is just, um, you know, 
reach back to the service team, see kind of what's been going on, and talk with Amber. Because my understanding, you talked to Amber several times. I have. Accurate? Okay. Um, just so that we can make sure we have a good understanding. Okay. Of, uh, of kind of just directional. And, you know, I can, you know, I'll be able to share that kind of that direction with you. I, what I'm going to do is advise, you know, because uh, right now, uh, with the service team on, Amber is the associate director. And she is close, you know, has that close, close touch point to the work. So I'll work alongside of Amber to kind of see how things have been going, what things, you know, we may need to look to change, and or, you know, the course of the direction that we're in right now. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, all right. Have a good evening. All right, okay, thank you. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye.